the formidable robot. During the year when Robotronic finished its last episode, a sixth episode was planned originally called Dr. Freaky's Freaky Deaky Experiments of Junk Mountain, but the series was done and the episode was scrapped. Until Ben Lobin rewrote the script and turned it into the latest episode, The Blistering Experiments of Dr. Q.U., written by Alexander Bonavisky and Ron Goldberg. Another studio had picked up the series named Goldberg and Alexander LLC, a group of indie animators from around the world that uses a blend of Blender animation, Adobe After Effects, a dash of Flash animation, and loads of cybernetic designing references. This time, the episode was recalled from a dream from one of the writers, Benjamin Pedersen. The episode started immediately with a frozen title card, The Blistering Experiments of Dr. Q.U., and then shows PC hacking the main systems on the doors to unlock it. After a beep and click, the door creaked open before the group slid into the laboratories. Inside was a set-up laboratory with the remains of the cyborgs and a singular robot growing cybernetic green and blue mushrooms. What's growing out of them? PC said to himself. C-12, scan the body. C-12 stepped in and scanned the body. The two sat in the lab and played back the tablet from the last episode. The playback was what horrified them. It showed the corpse of a Frank being pushed in and being tested with the serum. The cyborgs stared in awe, completely stupefied. As the body opened up, the mushrooms sprouted and all of the cyborg scientists were infected. As the infection spread, the playback corrupts and stops. So that explains the corrupted cyborgs. T-999 said. C-12 said hesitantly. Someone must have tampered with the corpses without knowledge of the Robotronical National Graveyard undertake a police force. Someone wants these bodies for something big. PC said, slipping the tablet in his jacket. Them bastards. That's why they shut down at the last minute. Someone took over the business. T-999 said, his voice firm and pissed. C-12 and PC looked at each other. Go on. What's the theory? PC questioned, intrigued. T-999 started pacing. Okay. It was acknowledged that the Robotronical National Graveyard Undertaker base was closed, right? What if the reason is because someone stopped it? They took over operations at the last minute before the original arose and covered it. It was a setup. Someone was on their tail. Let's say the pre completely made up and just set up on the kill. C12 added. T-999, you goddamn genius. But if that's the true reason, where did they go? PC asked. T-999 pulled out a map of a new city, Nexus. Here. They're at an abandoned bar near Rust Hill and the Boneyard Shack. T-999 tasked. The two nodded, and PC warned. We'll need to cover our grounds. Everyone, including the police, are on their tails. We'll need to download costumes of disguises so we can blend in, but how? T-999 pulled out a piece of paper. Remember t Ruz? He's got a whole archive of costumes and disguises at his skin. He can hack faster, even you, hehe. <laughs> T-999 chuckled. PC playfully punched the side of his shoulder. Then it's settled. We'll go to Nexus. Crackling was heard as the three looked. C-12 screamed. The three ran as the side of the laboratory started crumbling and deteriorating. At the end, the entire half of the laboratory crumbled and fell down. Too close. T-999 panted. Agreed. PC said as he typed something on his arm. A ship appeared and the three hopped in and soared through space before going to a neon-colored planet. To be continued was shown with a snarl herd. 
After the episode was discovered, the writer later died due to a coincidental car accident. No one had known why the writer died, except for the episode, which was why said episode was in tribute for the writer. One last bit of archived things. A website for the series was made in celebration of the revival. The website died and doesn't take you anywhere. The truth about the cybernetic government.net. The website led to a video message of PC telling everyone about the events of the next episode, Invasion Under the Neon Lights, which was the next episode upcoming. Be prepared, there's gonna be cybernetic blood spilt and no one is safe.